All right, we're back here at Progressive Field. 4-4, our score. We're going to the fourth inning now, and for Orioles, for Baltimore, Chris Davis, Matt Wieters, Steve Pierce do up. And we're going to stay on the 1997 train. Marquise Grissom has just rolled into the station. How are you, man? Uh, I'm good, man. How you guys Great doing? Great to see you. The American League Championship Series MVP, 1997. And uh, is there is there one particular memory, one particular moment that stands out for you um, from that series in particular? Uh, we had so many. I just think, uh, you know, losing game one was tough for us, and we, we had to come back in game two. You want to don't want to go down 2-0. And um, we pulled that game out, and I think that kind of propelled us to, you know, come home and take care of business. You pulled that game out <laughs> with that incredible home run, and you were you were really sick as a dog, weren't you? Yeah, I was. I think I got a little food poison uh, the, on the night end uh, from room service. I think the Orioles did their job on me. But, uh, <laughs> but it didn't work. It kind of backfired on them. And, um, you know, I just love the game so much, and I think uh, I wanted to be out there and help the team as much as possible. Matt, I thought you said the MVP just left, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he just had him up here from what he said. No, but he loved that home run you had. I liked it in this uh, ballpark on the squeeze play from Omar Vizquel in the 12th yeah. inning. We just showed that. How tough was it? It was a 4 o'clock start that game, wasn't it? Yep. And, I mean, as the game went on, it was great baseball. But that it was such a weird play. It was hard to tell if he fouled the ball off or not. And you were off running and the – you never stopped. Well, I couldn't tell, and I definitely didn't see the umpire, you know, give up a foul ball sign. So uh, I just kept on running, and I'm just surprised that Omar didn't get the butt down out of all people. Yeah, yeah, right, of all people is right. I mean, we showed that replay, and it was like, boom. It, you couldn't tell whether he fouled it off or he didn't. Look, Marquise, just tell him, look, just read the box score. I stole home, stolen base. <laughs> the box score tells the whole story. I stole home to win the game. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Pitch is strike three call. Chris Davis rung up five strikeouts now for Danny Salazar. As we'll get a look at that play. And give us your perspective on this thing. I mean, the well, I know the squeeze in. is on. Yeah. Well, you, you know, right there, I don't see the ball, you know, go any direction. Normally when it tipped uh, off the bat, it would move left to right, and, it just, and I didn't see it move. And I think Lenny went after it like, it. you know, he was surprised to see me coming. <laughs> yeah, well, he was surprised to see it coming, but he didn't react to anything, and he went after it slowly. Not that he would have had you anyway because you were off and running. Right. Even if he gets on it, he wouldn't have had you. I mean, that was a great series. That was a great one to watch. Well, that whole postseason had drama from the get-go, from the Yankee series to the Orioles series to the World Series. But that was a – such a, a fun team to be around, especially during that month of October. And we talk about chemistry, and that team seemed to have something special going for it that year, especially late in the season, didn't it? Yeah, we did. I think we kind of turned it around in um, in Anaheim when everybody decided to wear their socks up. Um, that was a big um, change for us as a team. I think it kind of brought us together, and uh, we started playing better. And, um, you know, not only that, the two postseason uh, series against the Yankees and the Orioles were huge. And I think the Orioles probably been the best team. We were playing well, but the Orioles were really playing well that year. Yeah, they, that was a – well, you had opportunity to play in both leagues, the National American League. Did you see any difference in any of them? I mean, coming from back and forth or – well, in the American League, you got you got nine pretty good hitters. They had some bombers when yeah. the DH is back then. <laughs> you got nine pretty good hitters, and you yeah. know them and the Yankees. And um, it's a little bit different ball game. You know, we do a little bit more hit and run in the National League, and um, probably had a little bit more speed in the National League as well. But mm -hmm. um, just a lot of power. And the pitchers in the in the American League, they kind of pitch backwards. You know, in the National League, two zero, you're gonna get a fastball. Not necessarily true in the American League. Boy, and then, well, nowadays it's true any time because pitchers will throw anything at any time. They don't care. Rarely now do you see 2-0 heaters. Let's go down and away. That's what pitchers used to have, a go-to fastball to get over for a strike. They don't have it anymore. Although uh, they've got some guys, they can get it up there. Do you watch a lot of baseball now? I do from time to time. I'm coaching, and I try to try to keep myself busy. Um, you know, with the kids. But um, I do watch a lot of baseball. I go to a lot of the Braves games since I'm from Atlanta. And um, things have changed. You know, I'm looking at these guys. They're 6'5", six, 6'4". Six, yeah. And if you're not throwing 93, 94 consistently, you're not going to be – you don't have a chance of going to college. We got, we, we got one guy with a change up at 93 in Kansas City. <laughs> Danny Salazar.